welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones. We are in King's Landing. It's Mira. Can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put it Cersei and Jaime. Oh, the Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud White Hill. Lud White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Uh, Don't handbangs look out for each other? But... We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. It really does. It seems so... There's a pit of vipers here, eh? We'll see what we can do, though. Okay, back to Garrod. Interesting. Set to be executed, which is not ideal. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. Like the one who killed Brit? Who's that? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. He looks pretty cold. The Ice Dragon. Beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon. Sounds dangerous. But kind of awesome. Okay. Find a way out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just sand. You're just sand. Must be the latrine. Oh. I'm not sticking around to use it. Okay. Onions and crab apples. Food At least food. I won't starve to death. Yep. Grab that. If I ever find a way out of here. Yeah, there's a mural called. A rusty trowel. Well, anything is useful, right? It might be useful. If we need to go MacGyver on this. Let's grab some wood. Um, a blanket. Probably covered with fleas. Right. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Don't know what I expected. <laughs> I don't know why it was giving me as an option. It, like, wanted me to try, but... No one out there. Okay. We got a hole in the wall. We've got a loose rock. Not I can't easy. move it. Won't budge. We use the trowel though. Garrett! Oh. Cotter. What are you doing here? I heard him talking. Yet to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. Oh. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. 
Or you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? Good. So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Okay, we probably need to be really quick here. I'm gonna use the trowel on this and see if it helps. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. I can see it. it it's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? Okay, that's one way to open a door. I hope no one heard that. We gonna move if they did. I mean, hey, in case they did. Can you fit through? I think. Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze. I'll squeeze. It's okay. I got this. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Should probably grab a cloak or something, that's gonna be cold. I could just distract them because Cotter doesn't like in trouble. Move! Oi! Oh, shit. Oh! That's uh, probably not. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, we'll try that again. I think I've moved, yeah, a bit too slow there. I was trying to, but it's, it, it switches the, the button, uh, it switches the button that you need to push to move. So I was like pushing one button, but it wouldn't do anything, and I had to switch. Depending on what angle the camera's facing. Go! Got it. Didn't see me. Oh! Okay, go. <laughs> That's kid me. Oh shit! Aren't you two idiots lucky I'm not Frostfinger? Hey, buddy. I thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. Oh, Finn. Am I glad to see you? I'm the sword in the darkness. <laughs> Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. Let what him are come. you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping yeah, you. Let him come. What we do you think him. he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with potato fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah. Good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. Nice. We'll talk later. Yeah. Move! Try 
trust them. Um, okay. So we've well gone through that part at least. I don't know if we've escaped or not. Looks like it. That's good. <sighs> We're out in the wilderness to try and find the North Grove. The North Grove. Okay. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. Doesn't matter. We're, we're breaking already. our vows. It doesn't matter. We've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Vows I said here. I meant them. I was a brother. But the Night's Watch betrayed me. And that's on them. They know we're missing. Let's go. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? It'd be pretty hard for them to find us. Why is he just walking straight up with the archers? Shouldn't they be hiding somewhere? That seems like a bit dumb. Uh, well, oh well, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> My people are all starving, scared. It's worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? I don't know. Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. Hide them. They could be here in minutes. Um, get them ready to do damage. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. This is exciting. I'm like nervous because I don't want it to go badly. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. Okay. This is the first time we've done something aggressive, I suppose. Let's see how it plays out for us. A lot riding on this. But we really do need something to go right for a change. I mean, if all of our people, all of these people, if they picked up swords and rushed, you know, like the castle, we would overwhelm them and probably not lose. his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? <laughs> you're supposed to be marrying you. me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. It... What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. Oh. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? 
My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Actually, I think it's your turn. I don't think so, Roderick. <laughs> ah, you fucking... <laughs> you're dead, Roderick! I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the Lord... What are you waiting for? Take their weapons. What are you doing? Drop it! Kill the Now. This is my hall! You have no right to be here! Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me! Maester. Are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. I did warn you, Liv. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone... <laughs> Is that it? Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. I think he wants more. <laughs> Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? <sighs> Is that it then? We're done here. Clear out. I could have done more, but I think that was probably enough. I don't. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. Yeah. No one gets in or out. This isn't over, Roderick! I want to have him as captive, because then we have more leverage than if we kill him. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. We had this a spy, though. Oh, shit. Kill the ravens. All of them. Who's the spy? Oh man. Well that was really exciting. Um, yeah. But I think we need to keep Griff alive. Because we need that leverage. I swear I will! But yeah, that, was, that felt good. You and your That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher! You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh. Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck or this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Beska, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> <laughs> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> <laughs> You're the only person I'm even fucking here! And you told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! Just talk to me, Beska! We're done talking. 
I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. And <laughs> she didn't die. She fought. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. who used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Now's your chance. Dizor Zoraza. To help Because of that us. man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Probably should have taken the drink away. But, I don't know. I don't want to get him more angry. Okay. I think that's probably a good time to end the episode. It was um, a very exciting one. So we've got... We've got control of Iron Wrath once again, but... It's a precarious position because they still have Ryan and they're still a traitor. Um, Vishka's drunk, but she's admitted why she's afraid of Marine, so that's a start. Anyway, when we get back, it looks like we'll be in King's Landing. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.